sweet souls. How are you? It's your forest fairy here. Nice to see you again. Well, it's Spiritual Sundays and it's time for another Angelic Whispers read. I've got the Kyle Gray cards out, ready to go. Let's get some messages from our angels, from our angel team. Let's take a look. What do the angels want to whisper to us that we've got to really take notice of? The, the little subtleties, that the, how the angels communicate with us. So, spiritual gifts, they're telling us to really discover, see, and practice your spiritual gifts. The energy that crosses this is balance. Finding balance and thanking the angels for helping us balance. And I'm feeling the mind and the heart. Now, the heart opens up to, um, I'm just going to say, to other worlds, other dimensions. If you have a closed heart, you're really stuck in this 3D, this heavy, this dense world. At the same time, the mind... And, and I know a lot of readers will say, you know, you got to open up your heart and not listen to your mind. The mind is your supercomputer. That's how I look at it. Like it's, it's your supercomputer, sweet soul. So with that, it's, it's, and as someone who ignored computers, ignored phones, ignored even technology learning at all, I know now that discovering in your spiritual gifts, you really got to tap into the programming that has been put into you through the mind, through um, media, through even vibrations. They'll do it through vibrations, uh, visuals, whatever that means to you. And reprogramming your mind. Now, to be positive, to see your gifts, to then practice your gifts. Practice makes perfect. Your higher self. Move your body. Yes. Move your body, love your body, be amazed at what your body can do, especially your mind, especially your brain, because that's pretty amazing that you can rewire your, your brain and it's through thoughts. So this is where balance, I feel, really comes into play with, and we, we notice the, the third eye being lit up, the heart being lit up. In this card, it's finding balance between that head and heart, it really is to really open up and be not just aware of your gifts, but to then, to then put them into practice. Your focus and foundation is this spirit animal. And I'm finding this very interesting because every time spirit animal comes up, I'm really reminded to mention, and I see this is definitely a hawk um, with that small beak. It's about the birds. I, I see the spirit. And now you could connect with your pet, your dog, your cat. Horses also have a, a deep spiritual connection with people or people with them. But every time I see this, it's the bird. It's the birds that are really, and it's almost like they are. Uh, they fly. Like what we assume angels have wings. I don't know if they do. I think they're just energies. But again, they can they can move through different animals. They can move through the birds. They can move through humans at the same time. So can the negative forces as well. So just being aware of that. In the recent past, count your blessings. Be grateful. Write a gratitude journal. Do these things that so the angels know that you are aware of your spiritual gifts, you're aware of your blessings, and to count them. Count your blessings in the future. Leap of faith. You will, with these spiritual gifts, be taking a leap of faith that when you need them, they will be there. And she kind of looks like a, she's taking on a superpower of pose, so I'm really feeling these spiritual gifts. How do you see yourself? Express your creativity. It be, could be through your creativity that this is where your gifts reside. For some of you, you're a lot of you are musicians, you're singers, and so these are vibrations. What type of music are you putting out there? What type of lyrics? Because words have a lot of power. What is it that you're putting out 
Are you expressing your creativity in a positive way? Is it in a negative way? Is the negative way, like I truly believe, like I'm just saying this, negativity has gotten money, right? Negativity, making fun, um, has gotten hits. It does. It gets people interested. The, the thirst traps and all this, these sort of ways of getting the likes, the shares, the whatever. Okay, so I, I get that. I understand that. And so it's paying the people, you sweet souls. It's paying. It's, it comes out in, in the dollar figures, in the, the um, monetizing revenue to be a certain way, to be, well, I'm just going to say, negative, fearful, whatever. So you're contributing to that. What have you switched? You, knew you're, you know you're going to take a hit. You know that people are not going to watch, but you do not care. You express your creativity whatever that means to you, in a positive way. What will happen then? I believe there will be a day where more people will click on positivity because they're so drenched in negativity. They're so enveloped in it. They want just to have a break from it. And so with that, I really feel that expressing your creativity in a positive way is going to earn you money. This is in the future. It's not right now. And I think it's starting to change. Miracles. The miracle of forgiveness. That's how other people see you. Beautiful. That's beautiful. And it starts with forgiveness. You can't forgive others truly until you forgive yourself first. This is something that I've learned personally. And spiritual abundance. And with that forgiveness comes spiritual abundance. And look at the happiness. Look at the positivity. Look at the beautiful image of this face. Like, who wouldn't want that? To, see, to look at that every morning, right? and just see, I woke up, I am <laughs> so grateful that I did, because a lot of people didn't, I did. So what am I going to do today? How am I going to make this day the best day ever? Peaceful, by, by finding peace of mind. And I'm finding with this card, it's the peace of mind. It's the peace of mind. How are you going to achieve that? That's for you to know. Right? Those are steps that you must take. And that which you might not see underneath the deck, the miracle of nature. Well, Tone, I know that here in the 100 Acre Woods. I really do, between feeding the birds and I got, I'm loving their, the hummingbird wars. Those, those, little, those little males will just dive bomb. If, if another male is on that feeder and that particular male has, has decided it's his, Oh, they dive bomb and they're so fast. Just keeping your eye on where they go is unbelievable. It's, it's, a, it's a miracle. It's amazing to me. I just, so it's a miracle of nature. Absolutely, it is a miracle. And so I really want you guys to find the miracles. Even if you're in a city, find the miracles of nature. Get out. Go to, I know they pop up. I called them, I used to get my parking lot specials where let's say a grocery store would set up their, you know, plants for sale. And when I was still in the stroller stage, I would take the kids down and, and find the most dead, more than 50% off, just parking lot specials is what I called them. And then I would nurse them back to health and they would just flourish with a little bit of water, a little bit of fresh soil and, you know, care. And I'd say to the kids, which one looks the worst? Like it's gonna die any minute. And they would pick out their worst, like what looked the worst, and we'd nurse them back to health. And so that that's, I have very, and I was living in a city, so I called them parking lot specials. And so we would plant them and, so do that. The miracle of nature. And it's a miracle when you see something brown and <laughs> so thirsty, so dead, or looks dead. And then you give it a little bit of water and it's had enough sun. It's <laughs> maybe put it in some shade and just keep it, you know, and little pieces of green will start, you know, showing it. See, yours is good. Yours is still green. Yours is still brown. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> that's, that's what you might not see. Is that what you need? Go to the beach. That's nature. Go to, if you're on a coast, go to the beach. If you're near woods, go to the woods. If you're near... Whatever this means to you. I used to go to parking lots. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, spiritual gifts. Let's take a look. 
Let's get some tarot. Clarify with the tarot and go a little deeper on this. What are your spiritual gifts, sweet souls? They're all, I'm sure they're different for every one of you. And then I'm sure, yes, Terrafin. Finding your spiritual gifts, finding your spirituality, finding what it means to you. What does this Hierophant mean to you? What are you getting rid of? What program, as I said, what programs are you then going to get rid of that you see through, you see through the veil? And then what? which ones are you curious about? Are you finding more about? I'm learning more about the brain and what the brain is capable of as far as we know that's amazing to me this is all hierophant energy and being patient with it you might not find it right away you might not be able to access your gifts right away you might have to take more time to deprogram to reprogram that which in in and again um depending on a how much time you've spent on the internet that's the first thing like when someone says i'm i'm depressed and they talk to me about it. the first thing I say is get off the internet because as someone who was off the internet there are energies there's frequencies on that that are really trying to keep everyone down so just take time it doesn't if you have your businesses if you have your income streams on the internet I'm not saying abandon it I'm just saying get off it get into nature go do something even just if you have a little piece of grass let's see and you have a little backyard you're in the city or you're in I don't know the what are they called they are um, they're outside of the cities and they're little, um, like there's lots of houses and they all have little pieces of grass. Like, um, I don't know, I'll put it in the corner there. Word retrieval. Um, not the point. Walk in the grass with no shoes on. It's, it's really quite, even if you have, if your grass hasn't been healthy and it's brown. And again, like the parking lot specials, it's like dead. Just get out and feel the prickles even. Get out and it'll stimulate. It'll literally stimulate just touching your feet. Go to the beach, get into the sand. I'm not a sand person, I'm a grass person, but either or, whatever you have access to and get back to the miracle of nature and move your body. Yeah, this is being, I'm, I'm really feeling this is being sedentary and not moving as we can imagine with the the, the miser of the tarot, which is the four of pentacles, that's his sort of nickname is that miser. He's not moving. He's not moving his feet with the two pentacles underneath there. He's not letting go of that pentacle. I can't go to nature, you say to me. Forest fairy, that's fantastic. You live on the hundred acre woods. Well, I don't have access to nature. Move your body, go for a walk and get to some. Don't be sedentary. Yes, and while you're at it, this is where that balance between head and heart, we go back to the spiritual gifts, that balance. There's the balanced king for me, the king of cups. And really, and there's the balance card, is the crossing energy right there. Balancing out your head and your heart, balancing out that reason. Are you reasoning yourself out of the miracles of nature? Are you reasoning, I live in the city and I can't, I don't have a vehicle, I can't drive out to the country, I can't, I can't, and those are putting you into this off-balance energy. Find a way. Like combat Carl, he always finds a way. That I just heard that the kids used to say that all the time, and I don't, I don't know which Toy Story it's from, but it's combat Carl. He finds a way. So be a combat Carl. <laughs> Find a way. Spiritual animal. Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is the take care queen. She really is. Um, and this is Capricorn energy. We got Capricorn up in there. And the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords, I'm going to put this here. The Ten of Swords is ending of something. And yeah, it's a painful ending, but it could be the ending of your programming, the ending of your <sighs> ways of thinking really connecting back into nature, back into um, your spirit animals, discovering what they are. I'm also feeling a take care energy. So taking care of yourself, taking care of your body. Yes, taking care of your mind, taking care of your heart, taking care of your spiritual gifts. Absolutely taking care of your routine, your Hierophant routine, being patient with this process. Yes, absolutely. But also take care of your animals. So I'm hearing that message as well. For a lot of you, 
take care of your animals. Don't ignore them. Don't, you know, if they need to go for a walk, go for a walk. If you have dogs, as an example, take them out for a walk. They would love it, and so would you. Count your blessings. Count your blessings. And get out of that mental prison of, of that have not, don't have. Yes, be determined to find a spiritual uh, practice. Be determined to be grateful. Be determined to write these things down. Get out of this eight of swords. Get out of this five of swords and really count your blessings. And you might find more blessings with this spiritual gift. And then taking a leap of faith on these spiritual gifts. Yes, working on it. This is practice. This is mastery with the eight of pentacles. Absolutely. Mastery of the gifts and be patient with this temperance card. Finding that alchemy. For some of you, it is it is transmutation of energy, of taking negative energy and transmuting it. And I would like to see all of you energy wielders out there. I call you energy wielders, and those are people that can transmute the energy instantly from negativity to positivity. And, and if you go out and test it out in the world, I do it all the time, where someone who's nasty, who's just miserable behind the counter, let's say, and I will try my best without being fake. You can't be fake. You have to be genuine to cheer them up, to say something that will just like give them a different perspective. And they, they, and you can feel their energy lifting. You can feel their energy changing. That's an energy wielder where you can wield energy, negative or positive. It doesn't matter. You can do both, but you are choosing to be positive. That's a superpower. That's taking a leap of faith. And that is practicing, putting into practical application that which you have discovered through your spiritual gifts. So all of you energy wielders, I really want you to, if you're a content creator, let's say, change your content to be positive, to really just flood the internet with positivity, with positive vibes, with and change that energy from negativity to positivity. That's kind of my challenge for you energy wielders. If you already know, you know your spiritual gifts, you do it every day. I want you to do that on the internet. That's what I'm trying to do with this channel now. And things are going to change. I just have to say that because my kids are and I'm just saying it through this. I'll say it again through different. And I want to use the community thing. Like I have to learn how to post on the community thing. I'm Again, I'm not a poster. I'm not coming from Facebook or Instagram or whatever. Having said that, things are going to change for the summer because I can't record every day. I record when the kids are at school, so they're going to be home. So things are going to change. I don't know how exactly and I'm testing and, and planning things out but I only got three weeks left so having said that get your spiritual gifts out there and start yes start practicing now this five of cups is disappointment don't be disappointed if you know you have spiritual gifts you know you have these powers and it doesn't work for you don't give up don't Talk yourself, because I'm looking at these eights here, and this is mastery, and this is uh, self-doubt, and this is that prison. I can't. I can't even leave because of all these thoughts and these swords that surround me. Just get up and walk through the swords. It's not like anything's holding you there, except your thoughts. So when I see these eights, that's of the past. Beautiful. Start counting your blessings. Wonderful. And then I see these fives, thoughts into loving actions. Love yourself. Don't be disappointed. Love yourself. Love, and it's almost like with today, this this disappointment card, this is the two of cups that he's turned his back on. That's a two of cups relationship, right? Have a relationship with your spiritual gifts. Have a relationship with God. Have a relationship with your angels and work on it and be patient with the process. Now, this is all having to do with expressing your creativity to the world. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. When the world changes, as we are all feeling, we're all going through, and we choose to pump out a positive energy, when us energy wielders are changing the negative into positive every day, all day long, we all take shifts. It's not just one person. It's, it's the collective. That's through expressing what you've created, what it is that you create. Are you creating high vibes? Are you creating positivity? Are you creating a loving environment, integrity, and, and seeing through the veil? What is it, sweet souls? Yeah, I do have to say this, though. Being positive in today's world, there's a lot of responsibilities. I do have to say this. 
and it can feel heavy. And again, this is about transmutation. It can feel, the negativity can really feel heavy. Let down those 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 heavy responsibilities. Like you're, one person is not gonna change the world. It's going, the, the more, all you influencers out there, what are you influencing? Are you influencing, you know, in a positive way, self-acceptance? Are you influencing, okay, this is me without filters, without makeup, without, like, what are you putting out there that will help others feel normal, love their body as it is, as it was given to them, and not want to alter and change it and, and mutilate it, right? There's industries built off of self-loathing. Let's just put that out there. And so this is not your responsibility to change the world, but as a collective, with our creativity, we can. Miracles of forgiveness. This is forgiving. Yes, look at that. Beautiful. Forgiving yourself first. Being independent without a relationship, without even um, an income. You can still make money being creative. You can still put in the time, the work, invest in yourself. And stop lying to yourself. This is very interesting. When I see these two cards together, you're lying about not being able to be independent. I have to stay chained to the job, to the industry, to whatever it is that you're forgiving yourself for being a part of. Let's say you're in, I don't know, marketing. And you know that you've marketed really bad products. And a lot of people have bought them. Forgive yourself. Cut through the lies. Know, yes, for some of you, that it's given you financial independence. All right, then leave it and express your creativity. Speak to the world. Forgive yourself for either not knowing or believing or lying to yourself from the beginning, right? Spiritual abundance, your hope and your fears, moving towards that spiritual abundance with the Six of Swords, slowly making yeah, I'm going to put the, the, the swords over the swords. You are moving away from this, the lies, the deceit, the, the seven of swords, and you are and doing it behind this nine of wands. Really, you're almost there. This is the determination to keep on going. The nine of the, that wounded warrior, he doesn't give up. He, it's okay. Again, combat Carl. He finds a way. He doesn't give up, and he finds a way to find peace of mind. Last card up, peace of mind and communicating how you've done it, how you have discovered your spiritual guts, how you took a leak of faith, how you express your creativity, how you found peace of mind. Yes, and how you had the strength to share it with others, to communicate with others what it is that you do, that only you can do. Beautiful, look at that, the star. The star, looking into the stars for some of you, for all you astrologers out there, this is your time. Um, the star is also about healing. It's about regeneration. And as we talk about energy wielding, this is also regenerating your brain, regenerating um, that which has been cluttered. Your, your, your brain has been cluttered with negativity and clearing that all out, healing that, having hope for the world. This is how I see you, sweet souls, and, and that of nature, finding the miracle of nature, 85. Let's get some angel numbers. This is beautiful. This this is a beautiful spread. And let's do 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. You were not born to suffer, sweet souls. Move beyond expecting a negative outcome. Exactly. You gotta change your perspective. Exactly. 410. You are being reminded to be clear about your intentions. God is always listening and will respond if your will aligns with divine law. I see 885. Let's do 885. Right there. Your angels are encouraging you to take some time to collect information and study your options before making any changes. Take extra care and assess what is needed before taking that leap of faith. It says before jumping in. So that's the Eight of Pentacles right there, do the work, be patient with what it is. The Queen of Pentacles right here. The King of Cups. This right here, as we see, is about taking care of yourself, taking care, learning, being patient with what you are learning, and really balancing out your head and your heart. 
beautiful. I love that. Okay, let's do 996 nine, and 997. Nine, any numbers that you see on my table, sweet souls, that I do not read aloud, those are personal messages for you. Get your book and take a look. If you do not have an angel numbers book, go to the description box below, click on the link, and grab yourself a book for all future reads. Okay, let's do 996 first. Waves of inspiration and love are moving through you and emerging from you now. Share your gifts with the world, absolutely, in order to experience grace. That's a beautiful message. 997, last one. Your life is aligned with your purpose and with higher purpose. Nothing you have done up until this point has been by accident. Now experience the magic of who you are. And when we start off with spiritual gifts, that's exactly what this read is about. That's what I see for you, sweet souls. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.